Have you guys ever wondered if you could shoot down an airplane? I think about it a lot. Okay, I don't think about it a lot in the aspect of like, I'm gonna go out and shoot down an airplane, but I've always worked on airplanes, and I've always just kind of wondered, what kind of damage can they take? And uh, there's lots of stories about airplanes and helicopters getting shot up, you know, overseas in Iraq and Afghanistan, they get shot up all the time. And a lot of them, well most of them make it home with just battle damage, with bullet holes in them. I think A-10s can like fly without one wing. There's a story of an F-15 with one wing flying. So there's lots of redundant systems that keep airplanes in the air if they do get shot. But that's not what this video is about. Today it's about how much does it take to actually shoot through an airplane's body. So I actually have a piece of airplane body right here. If you guys didn't know, airplanes are basically all aluminum or composite materials. So this is super flexible, really thin. You know, I'd chalk it up to one of my pans almost. So we're gonna shoot at it with the BB gun first, and then we're gonna shoot at it with the pellet, and then I'm gonna bring out a 22, and I'm pretty sure a 22 is gonna go clean through this thing. First up, we got the BB. So I knew airplanes are weak. I didn't know they were this weak. Is it gone? It split that skin pretty good with just a BB. Alright, I'm pretty sure the pellet's gonna go through, so let's give that a try. Alright, next up, the pellet. Yep, right there. You guys can see that little bulge right there. I actually hit a thicker part of it, so I'm gonna take one more shot with a pellet and just move it up to right about here. Alright, second shot with a pellet. Yep, I think my BBs are going significantly faster. I hit just as thin as a part as that with the BB, right there. So, I actually probably should get a different pellet gun. So this is actually my favorite gun I own. This is a Ruger 1022 with the international stock on it, all stainless steel. Um, this is the first gun I ever owned. I wouldn't say I owned it. My dad bought it for me when I was eight years old. And we've kept this thing in good condition. We haven't even taken the sponge out of it yet. So the sling loop doesn't like scratch the wood. This thing, it's been kept in like pristine condition. It's my favorite gun ever, ever for multiple reasons. Mostly nostalgia. I'm actually gonna be shooting some CCI 22 long rifle quiet rounds. Uh, these things are going 710 feet per second. 1022, subsonic ammo. I don't even have ears on right now just because this thing is so quiet. It's like just a little louder than a pellet gun. It's starting to rain. I don't want to be out here with this gun in the rain. So it did not actually penetrate. It hit right there. Very little of a dent. At the same time though, this is where I hit. I hit on like the strongest part of this little piece of body right here. So I think I'm going to have to take one more shot with the subsonic. There's the shot right there. I hit the frame again, basically completely parallel with that other one. That's pretty definitive for me right there. The subsonics will not go through it. This should be the last shot. These are the 22 Golden Boys, and I have a feeling these are gonna go through no problem. I'll be surprised if they don't. I can see the hole from here. Wow. That is significant. And it actually looks like it hit above it and blew it out. Does that count? I don't know. I think I actually, I hit the frame and it pushed it down into the metal. And there is our definitive answer. Doesn't get any clearer than that. A 22 will penetrate an airplane skin. So I actually found the lead from one of those subsonics that hit the metal and stopped. It uh, mushroomed out perfectly. We caught it. Well, I want to thank you guys again for watching this video. Now you know. If you want to shoot down an airplane, you're going to need something bigger than a 22 subsonic. And uh, give this video a like. 
subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all those mindless social media websites. Alright guys, take it easy. Bye.